Today we're going to learn how to make a pair of mittens from an old wool sweater that you felted. Listen up, because we're going to go fast. Or else just pause it a lot and rewind it often, thanks to the magic of YouTube. The first thing you need to make a pair of mittens is a hand. If you don't have a hand, you can just use an old mitten. That'll work too. Lay down your hand, or your old mitten, on a piece of cardstock and draw around it. Be sure to leave a little extra, like a quarter or a half inch, for seam allowance. Next, cut that piece out. Then find the spot where your thumb joins your hand. Once again, if you don't have a hand, check where the thumb joins the mitten. Look real close. Draw a line across your template. Then draw around your pattern on two more pieces of cardstock and cut them out. Once you get them cut out, you'll also need to draw the thumb line on each of them. You might want to use a ruler so that you can draw a straight line. Then on one of the pieces of cardstock, draw around your thumb. It should look something like this. This one is going to be your bottom part of the palm of the mitten. So add your seam allowances to the thumb part. Then cut it out. Now if you flip this piece over onto the third and final pattern piece, you can draw an inverted thumb part. So that will make the top part of the palm and the thumb. Alright, three pattern pieces. Back of the hand, front of the palm on the top, front of the palm on the bottom. Flip them over and label them two. Put the fronts one. That way you won't get all mixed up while you're trying to lay it out and sew it and stuff and end up with two hands that are left handed and one cold right hand freezing to death all winter long. Next, lay your pieces out on your fabric. It doesn't really matter how you lay them out as long as you end up with a front and a back for both pieces. Try to conserve as much fabric as possible. That's what I do anyway. This part of the program is brought to you by Sharpie. Come on, Sharpie, hook me up with some free markers. I'm doing things for you. Anyways, draw around your pattern pieces with a Sharpie. It's going to be on the inside, so who cares? If your fabric is all doubled over, cut them out, and you'll end up with all six pieces you need to make two mittens. Next, lay them out on your table like this, so you don't get all confused and end up with two left hands and no right hands, and then your right hand freezes to death all winter long. If you want to make a liner, trace the pattern pieces and cut them out of whatever you want to line them with. I picked fleece because it's extra cozy. Next, with right sides together, sew around the palm seam and the thumb. Then stack that piece on top of your back of the hand and sew all the way around the outside. When you get to the thumb, stop. Sew right up to the seam, then flip it over, jam it under the machine, back it up, sew over it six or seven times, and move on. Then check the fit if you have a hand. If not, find a friend to check the fit for you. Next, do the same thing with the liner. Sew around the palm seam and the thumb with right sides together. Sew around the outside, and then when you get over to the thumb, make sure that you stop, back it up, sew real good up to the seam, flip it over, jam it back onto the machine, back it up, sew it six or seven times so it stays really good, and move on. Next is the worst part ever. Get out a needle and thread. Oh, old school. And sew them around your thumbs so that they stick together and don't come apart inside. Then jam all four layers underneath your three-quarter size husky sitar and stitch all the way around the outside so that your liner is joined to the outside all the way around. We're almost done. Flip the whole thing inside out and then stitch inside the cuff. This is pretty easy. You just kind of jam it in there, and then you just sew and turn and sew and turn and sew and turn. Voila! Cozy wool mittens with fleece lining. Or two if you have two hands. But then you have to do it all over again, only backwards. Ta-da! Stay warm this winter. Oh, and don't forget, come see our blogs, because we get pretty depressed when there's no comments or new readers or anything like that. They're listed right there. Link in the bar. Thanks.